Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a 1989 Zippo windproof lighter, high polish chrome, commemorating the USS Reed. This lighter shows plenty of scuffs, scratches, scrapes, dings, wear, some plating loss to part of the hinge. Looks like K V K for the month and the Roman numeral V for the year, which would be 1989. I don't have the month memorized. I don't know what the K. It's obviously pretty far along there. So is that December? I don't know. This is the lighter that I bought at the pawn shop the other day. And the guy at the pawn shop thought it was broke because it was something, uh, because it wouldn't spark. It wouldn't spark because it didn't have a flint in it. Flint tube wasn't even. obstructed it just did not have a flint in it pretty good condition though for I assume it's been banging along somewhere here for the last 30 odd years the USS Reed according to Wikipedia was a Oliver Hazard Perry class guided missile frigate that was ordered in 1978 took them a few years there to few, had a few other dates and then finally commissioned on the 19th of February of 1983 I thought it was interesting also according to Wikipedia on the 18th of August 1990 the Reed fired the first shots of Operation Desert Shield that was a very um, important thing in in my early adulthood was that Iraq that first Iraqi war so I certainly remember it and kind of a cool fact to discover about this lighter uh, or the ship that was that is commemorated by the lighter. I believe the paint is all still there, including the white 30 there on the ship, the blue water, and the black outline, maybe a chip or two 
Maybe a chip missing you off right there in the blue. So not perfect. But very good condition. I thought before I got it cleaned up that that hinge might have been repaired, but I don't think so. I think it's just uh, by wear or who knows what it was exposed to. The hinge lost some of its plating. If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tabacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the share button. Send the link off in a text. Post it on social media. Send it in an email, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays. And let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms. That will be Dependable Flame or DependableFlame.com on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and of course eBay. The ship was decommissioned and stricken in 1998 and then transferred to the Turkish Navy in 1999 and according to Wikipedia is still in service. Kind of interesting. An old American ship still working for the Turkish Navy. Pretty cool. The insert. It's marked V, but I can't tell. Looks like maybe there was a K there, although it seems like it should be further over here. I can't see that very good. I can see the V. Got a little bit of soot there, a little dirty. But I just pulled up the old wick, trimmed it off. The hinge is good and tight and doesn't fall too far. You can see the insert is definitely the chimney is smoke stained or soot stained whatever you would call it not a perfect lighter but a very nice lighter and I only paid a few dollars for Until next time.